and I got itchy. I wanted to, once I started doing records that were demos that became hits, and I wanted a big room. And I would go down a coastal recording on 80 West 40th Street and see uh, Bill doing Bobby Darren and uh, Stephen Eady and musicians uh, in a big penthouse. It was a double-storied penthouse. I think it was Marion Davies' famous little apartment in New York. And the control room was up on the second floor. And we'd go there, and I'd say to Bill, I've got to find a place. I don't have any money. I've got to find some partners who will let us start. And I walked by 112 West 48th Street, walked in the camera store, you know, like very brave, about 18, 19 years old, saying, uh, I see you have 4,000 square feet for rent. And I went up in this old, battered, four-passenger elevator. And uh, on the top floor was a little insert stage, about 40 feet by 30 by 12 foot, cement floor. No reason to ask why it was cement. It was the minute you walked on it, the dust got on your clothes. But I said, maybe we can make a deal. And I went to my mother, who was, as I said, working in a store. And she, a couple of friends, got the $4,000 I needed. And Jack Arnold, who was a piano player and a partner at JAC, and we got the deposit and the, you know, they used to take a one month's rent and one month so you wouldn't run away. So I think it was $8,000 all in. And we didn't have any money for mics or tape machines. <laughs> and uh, some people, some artists um, uh, said, well, maybe we can rehearse here and you can experiment with your two to eight microphones that you might put together. And I was very friendly. I became friendly with a guy who owned Harvey's and uh, a guy named Carol, who was Carol Rental. If it wasn't for all these great people, I don't, I, you wouldn't be interviewing me today at all.